so this is what the inside of the air handler looks like for your AC. I took the covers off to work on it. <clears throat> this transition is new into the old, the existing ductwork. Because usually if we're replacing and you know, the ductwork is fine, we just leave the ductwork. Or if it's going to be a lot more, probably another 30%, 50% to, to install new ducts. So they just leave that. Uh, this is a pump. 208, 230. This, we ran a new drain, PEX drain, all the way out there. Comes out of the eave. Clamps. I put white tape there to make to to make sure, just as an indicator, that we have a joint there. Um, that's an aluminum coil. That's the cooling coil. That's the uh, electronic computated motor. Put a new box here. Filter's gonna go here. Little door here. Owner could change that, or we can change it. And then this was a this is existing that goes down to the ceiling that connects here. put vibration hangers so that put vibration hangers uh, on the back too Put some hangers there. Then we're going to do the drain here. In this case, sometimes when, the, when it's not very low, the unit, you can add one of these. You can have your guy at one of these. That's like one of the main problems for the maintenance. To be honest, if you if you clear the drain and change the filter yourself, you'll be you'll be fine for most for most problems. Uh, or you could just pay someone to come clean it, clean the coils. I always include washing the coils. In the in the maintenance price. Where's the other one that I had? This is a low this is a low profile, a low boy. This is what I'm gonna have to use here. And then I'm just gonna make an access above this coming off of this trap. By code you need a trap, but According to Nate and Code, um, you want to you need a trap. Well, one you need, on this one you need a trap. So the the fan won't pull the water back from the drain because when you have the units closed, the fan is gonna pull from this section here, and it'll like literally pull the water back from draining. And keep all the water in here or over flood until the fan stops running then it'll 
start draining. That's one reason. The other reason is you don't want to pull, like let's say the drain, instead of going into the pump, it goes into a drain, like a main drain in the house or a sewer line. <coughs> you don't want it, or outside. You don't want it pulling air and odors back into the, the unit and then into the, into the duct, into the house. So just a heads up. Um, a lot of problems with the drains. Literally, they plug up right here, coming out of the unit. So if you can add one of these, you can brush it out yourself. You, you have three access. One, two, three. So just a, just a quick tip. If you don't want to pay somebody for a small... Let's say you have a little bit of water under your unit at home. You can you can clear those drains. Then we put this pan underneath, and then we're gonna add a switch here. We're gonna add a switch here and wire it to the unit in case this overfloods. If this leaks out somehow, if it backs up, and then it starts to spill in here. There's a switch that's going to cut off the unit. And then instead of going into your. To the ceiling. And causing a whole shitload of damage. Then we're going to put. A switch in that little pan over there. With the pump. And then the pump actually has a safety switch. Built in. These two wires right here. Basically, you'll prevent yourself a whole lot of problems from, from, from fucking insurance problems and damage and stuff. So, yeah, so we're going to finish this one up, and then we're going to go outside and do that. And then, some, a lot of times, I like putting pads on the here, too, even if I put these. But... It was too tight down here. It was going to be too low. And then, so I just put a little rubber, not the whole pad. These are vibration pads. I just took the rubber piece off. That way, when you put the cover on, the cover's not sitting directly on, on this here. Then it's a pain in the ass to get it off. It's a pain in the ass to get the cover off. So I just put those little pads under there so that we can take the doors on and off. And then you gotta make sure that the air handler is pitched very slightly towards the drain. Uh, according to the manual. Usually if you leave it level, it's fine too, but you just want a tiny pitch towards the drain. So that's what we did. So, a lot of these residential homes are similar. It's kind of repetitive. It's not easy, though, working up here. It's a hot-ass day. But we got it done. And then we're gonna, once we're done here, we're going to go work outside. 